To start the Talos account migration, you need to go to games.kudu.io and open your wallet section. Then scroll down until you see a button saying I'm ready to take control of my account. You must read carefully the guidelines and press next. Here you'll generate a new key pair that you must save in a safe place. You won't be able to retrieve it after. You are solely responsible to saving your keys, so make sure you save it in a safe place. Then press next and insert your public key on the empty field. Once you do this, you simply need to press next and add your password to confirm the migration. To import your keys using Anchor on Android, you must click on the logo button in the middle, then view preferences and enable testnet. And this is a mandatory as Kudu is currently running on the testnet. Then you need to go back, click on accounts and click add account. Now you simply need to click on import account and enter your private key. Once you do this, you'll find both your active and owner key. You can choose either, but we will recommend choosing the active one. Now simply click import account and it's successfully imported. You can confirm that your account was imported by clicking on accounts where you'll find your wallet name. Now you can go to games.kudo.io, open your wallet section and simply sign in using Anchor. Here it will launch Anchor, make sure that you have your wallet name selected and click sign. Once you do this, you'll be signed into your wallet and you'll be able to perform all the actions available within the Kudo ecosystem. To import your keys on Anchor using iOS, you need first to go to your app settings and open Anchor uh, settings. Here you'll go to developer and you'll need to enable test networks. You must have this enabled in order to import your keys. Once you have test networks enabled, you simply need to click on accounts, then add account and then import private key. Here you're gonna paste the private key that you saved while migrating your Kudo account. Then Press next, click on your account and import account. As easy as that. You can confirm that your account is already migrated by clicking on the account itself where you'll find your public key. And that's it. Now let's go to games.pool.io, go to your wallet section and now you can sign in using Anchor. Click sign in, Anchor, launch your Anchor app and now you just need to click login. Once you do this, you'll be signed into your wallet and you'll be able to perform all the actions within the Kudo platform. To import your keys on Anchor using the desktop version, you need first to go on the Anchor settings by clicking on the top right button. Then you'll need to scroll down until you see enable testnet support. You must have test network support available in order to import your keys. Then you just need to go back and click manage wallets. Here you'll be able to click on import accounts and you need to import an existing account. Now you just need to click on import private key and paste the private key that you saved while performing your Kudo wallet migration at games.kudo.io. Once you do this, it will show all the accounts that Kudo found under that private key and you click the one you want. We recommend using the active wallet. Now you just need to enter your password to continue and that's it. Your account was successfully migrated and imported to Anchor. You can go already to games.kudo.io, go to your wallet section and sign in using Anchor. Once you click on sign in, it will prompt you to open Anchor, and then you press launch Anchor and it will open a sign in request. You just need to accept and that's it. You are now signed in to your Kudo wallet within the Kudo platform.